Welcome to 52 Books in 52 Weeks. We're up to book 19 and this week I've been reading The One Minute Manager. Again, this one throws off my white balance in my camera. If you saw Lucky Bitch from last time, it's the orange. I don't know what it is. Um, so anyway, this time I was reading The One Minute Manager, which is a Kim Blanchard book. It's part of the One Minute series. There's a whole myriad of them and the one I'm going to show you when I finish it is The One Minute Salesperson. They're all very similar. A um, couple of things with these. First of all, they've been around for ages. I think these were first written in the 1980s, but the foundations of the book are still valid. They're still true. So although the concept has aged a bit, the, the understanding and the technique still works. They're very short. The upside of these ones is I read this one while I was watching the kids swimming the other morning. Um, I had about 45 minutes spare while they were doing their swimming lessons and so I smashed through this. Really helps when you're trying to read 52 books in 52 weeks if you can smash through one in the morning. So that's kind of handy. So what did I learn from this? Well, first of all, I like the way the book is laid out. So the one minute series are laid out in stories. They don't just tell you a concept or a management principle. Instead, they share you through a story about how this guy was doing something and how he learned. And you know what? I, I like that from a book. I, I get drawn along. I find it much easier to read a book when it's story based, even if it's full of business concepts, than when it's just a textbook full of business concepts. So I really enjoy the books that are, that are narrative, that are story written. The other thing I really like about this, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you, is that what it does is it breaks up the key points onto quotes pages. So like this one, people who feel good about themselves produce good results. Um, there's a couple of them in there, and the ones I really like I actually took photos of. Um, so they photograph quite well, but see, but I like it. So I like the way it breaks up the book. Um, it, it gives you a really nice mental break. I like the way it reinforces key points that you've just learned and they're really quotable So as you know a quote So I, I like that they're great for social media for taking a picture of what you're reading and sharing it with people um, And you know they're great to just sort of jot down inside of a notebook as a reminder that that's a really good thing to be thinking of There's a couple in here that I actually took photos of and posted on social media because I like them so much so you know, I, I like that style of book. Honestly, I have positive things to say about most of the books that I've read. This one did make me think about goal setting specifically. There are some other things in here that I'm probably not going to implement. Um, so reprimands being one of them, but I did take a look at the way we goal set, especially um, in business. I have an operations manager. He and I have miscommunicate sometimes. <laughs> so I think sitting down and doing the one minute goal setting procedure could really be a positive thing for us. So that's One Minute Manager. I'll share the next one when I've finished reading it with you. I'd love to hear from you. So this was a quick one today, but jot down for me down below what are you reading at the moment. Also, are there any books that you recommend that I read? I've still got half a year to go. I'm running a little bit behind schedule, so I've got to catch up, which means I've got lots of reading to do. So feel free to let me know. Is there anything you think I should be reading? And I'll do my best to hunt it out for you. That's it for this time. But as always, I will see you in the next video.